All right, so now we're going to be going, we're moving on in this video to House Karita. And um, our pink colors are red with gray. Red with gray, and we got Karita red here. All right, while I'm shaking this up, let's see what the alternate colors are for Karita. House Lau, House Steiner, Merrick, Word of Blake, Comstar. All right, where is it? Uh, oh, let's see. Okay, Karita. Alternate iconic pink color is Apple Barrel Bright Red, Citadel Blood Red, Citadel Red Gore, or Tester's Stoplight Red. Uh, secondary color is any shade of gray. So those are our paint colors that we can use. Let me get my palette up here. And we're going to give a couple drops here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to get six drops here. To start off, our first guy is a panther. Kind of a weird looking dude. Let me... Zoom in a bit here. That's got everybody in shot. This is the last dude. Yeah, we got everybody in the shot. We got our paint. We got our paint brush. This guy looks fairly easy to paint. He's got one long little deal on his right arm. As is, most of these guys have weapons on their right arm. Everybody's right-handed around here. No south paws in this universe. No, sir. We don't take kindly to lefties around here. And that arm is done. Boom, just like that. And we're going to get on this head here. Let's get this head and neck painted, underarms, armpits, behind the head. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Get under the crotch. Get around here. Around here. This guy's got a nice, pretty bright base coat, so... Uh-oh! I have a feeling this guy's going to look pretty good. These paints do bleed in really well. I mean, they definitely coat in pretty well Ah yeah, man that guy that was the fastest I've done a dude so far Of course he is very small Let me knock a little bit of red off and see if I can't get some off his head ah I think he's okay. There he is, right there. Boo! Panther. Now we're gonna go. I'm gonna skip the dragon. Go to the Jenner here. This guy's pretty easy. Like, okay, so here's the Jenner, right? This dude looks like he was designed in um, detention class, you know, on a piece of notebook paper after school. That's just the vibe this guy gives me. Very. And then they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna go with that." It's like, you know, he's been around a while, and it shows, you know, this dude. I don't want to, I don't want to be mean. We don't want to pick on anybody here, but. Like, who approved this model? Like... He 
It was the 80s, man. We had a lot of stuff going on. It's like, yeah, well, I mean, this Wolverine was designed in the 80s, too, so I don't think that's very a very good excuse in my book. But he's he's so bad, he's good, I guess. And that's what we're going to say. I don't know how he is in the game, but we'll find out. He looks like he's not very good. And if he is, it's on accident. I don't think there's any little kids out there that are scared that a Jenner is hiding underneath their bed, is what I'm saying. This guy is really very intimidating. Uh, double check here. Oh, God, it's pretty heavy right there. Let me pull some of that off. All right, there he is. Oh. Old chicken legs, that's what they used to call me. Old chicken legs. Old chicken legs. There we go. Jenner. Alright. Alright, now that we got that guy out of the way, let's back, let's back back out of here a little bit. Let's back back out. Mm. Oh man, I'm going the wrong way. Ugh. Uh. Come on now, straighten up. I'm gonna go do the dragon. Need more paint? More paint. One, two, three. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Ooh, looks like blood. Blood. This guy's number 15 on the bottom here. And we're gonna give him some paint. Boop, doop, 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 doop. I can never one down their windows. Even though, I'm probably gonna have to paint those again with some bright blue. Gotta get your nooks and crannies in, maybe. Your nooks and crannies. Get too crazy with my paintbrush. You don't want to hurt my poor little paintbrush. Here, this is not. I keep. I, I keep like wanting to use it as a dry brush, brush, and it is not. Stop jamming and cramming there. And you can jam and cram, but doggone it, you can be easy on it, man. Understand what you're up to. Can't be greedy with looking. You can show for all the class to see here, guys. Show for it. Make sure everybody can see what you're doing. Make sure you can see your work. And top of that hip. All right, let's give this guy one. So, oh, 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 missed a piece. All right, there. Missed underneath his foot there. All right, let's take a look on one. Give it a good once over. Hmm, look, oh, oh, get the back of that gun right there, boom, all right, looking good, looking good, next guy is a quick draw, quick draw, very standard dude, this guy's number 16, 
in case anybody's wondering. And is there, any, I don't see any special stuff on him. He's got some jump jets, but yeah, we'll deal with those. Quick draw, McGraw. Pa ping, pa chow. I don't know if any guys remember Quick Draw. He's like Quick Draw McGraw was like one of the very, very first cartoon characters I can remember from when I was a kid. I think I was like three or four. Oh, Quick Draw McGraw. The fastest gun is side of the Pecos. Oh, he's got some nooks and crannies up in them hips, man. He's got some nooks and crannies. And then we're going to get his legs up, up one side and down the other. All right. Let me get the inside here. The inside on that one. The outside. Tip. Boop. Got a little piece right there. Miss that side. Miss that side. And I'm going to... Let me see if I can't pull some of this off a bit. It's a little thick. Okay. Looking good. Next. Wolverine. I think we've already done this guy. On one of our other crews. I think I got like three or four of these dudes. I remember, yeah, we did this dude before. We did this dude because we don't want to do his gun. That's what we want to do. Is we want to be easy around his gun. Uh-oh, I dropped him. I got a little bit on his gun. That stuff happens. Let's see if I can get in this armpit. Go all the way around. Uh oh, gonna need some paint. Gonna need some paint. Boom, boom. Running low on the paint. I'm getting paint up in that ferrule on my paintbrush a little bit, but we'll rinse it out in a second. Yeah, these guys have these newer guys have more detail, which just which means they got more nooks and crannies, which means you gotta really get in on them. Pretty good. All right, so far so good. You know, oh, let's get some little thickness there. Got a little thickness. I'm gonna pull off of this and put down here a little bit. 
That's not necessarily the... Oh, man, this guy looks really good in red. Really. He looks pretty cool. I think I, I saved one of these guys back for traditional Robotech Defenders paint scheme. Um, I don't remember what his... I think his color is just plain green? I know the one dude is a uh, is is blue. And another dude is snow colored. It's not this dude though. Cuz I know which guy that is. Um Yeah, so I think this guy is originally like a uh, like not really a Kelly green, but a like a forest a forest green. Mm. We got we got some inner thigh, inner knee action that is not getting done. Okay, he's coated now. Get it in there. Alright, there we go. Alright, now double check. Make sure we got everything. Get the tip of that toe. Tip that toe. I mean, realistically, I mean, you, I couldn't really tell with the purple because those guys were base coated too dark. But these guys are looking great. Here I'm on. Look at that. Yeah, like they that that paint does all the heavy lifting. You know, we got we got a long way to go on these dudes, but. You know, for the amount of dudes I gotta paint, and the amount of time it takes, you see, I'm painting it right here in real time with you guys right here, you know. So, uh, this is what we get. It is what it is. Okay, this is my atlas. It's the only atlas I got. So don't, don't fuck them up. Alright, I don't see anything special sticking out. I know you're supposed to paint the face like a skull. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna do Oh, you know what? This is an old atlas, too. It looks number 24. Man. I did not know that, but here we go. Here we go. At least he's nice and bright white, so this contrast paint is going to do its job to the maximum effect. It's not going to be muddy or too dark, at least up here on the top where it matters. All right, let's get the armpit inside there. There we go. Get inside of this arm. This guy has some nooks and crannies. Like, I thought this was one of the newer guys because he's got a lot of detail. I mean, I guess it was like, you know, ah, oh, well, he's the Atlas. You got to blow all your uh, design budget on, you know, the baddest ass dude out there. You know, I know, I know there's, the, you got other dudes out there that are pretty cool, but that was pretty cool. You know, you know, everybody's like, oh, you got the King Crab. It's like, well, this, this here's, this here's inner sphere business. Don't you worry about what's going on with that stupid crab. There are some nooks 
and you can't even see the nooks and crannies, but they're up there. There's some nooks and crannies on this dude. He's pretty big. He's taking a lot of paint. But that's what the paint is for. bit spot left. Let's see if we got enough. There we go. Okay. Double check. Nooks and crannies. Nooks and crannies. Nooks and crannies. I don't want to pull someone out of there. There's a nook. That cranny has too much in it. Let's pull some of this paint off. That is it. There is. What is this? House Karita? House Karita. Done. Handled. Thanks for watching.